Welcome to a video taking a look at scatter diagrams. Here we're given a scatter diagram which shows um, the maximum speed of some cars and it also tells us the time in seconds to go from 0 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. Now what we're asked first is we're asked what type of correlation does this scatter graph show? Now what we need to remember here is that if our points are going in a downwards direction we say that this is a negative correlation so if we are down if we're going down we're negative maybe you could think of it as you're a bit down in the dumps you're a bit negative a bit of a negative disposition maybe you're, you're down and that gives you a negative correlation then if for example if you had points on your graph that were going in an upwards direction like this so your points are going in an upwards direction we would say that that is a positive correlation okay so if we're going upwards if we if we're up we're positive if we're down, we're negative. Okay, so in this example here, we can see straight away that we got we've got a negative correlation because our, our, each of our points on our graph they're going downwards. So what type of correlation does this scatter graph show? We can say that it is a it's a negative correlation. Question 2 asks us to estimate the maximum speed of a car that takes from 0 uh, that takes 11 seconds to go from 0 to 60. Now the way in which we're going to do this even though it hasn't told us to do so is we are going to draw a line of best fit onto our scatter graph. So always no matter no matter what you see don't worry what the question is asking you to do, draw a line of best fit, chances are it might come in handy. So the way in which we draw our line of best fit is we simply try to draw it as close to as many of the points as possible. Okay, So we're trying to get it as close to as many of the points as possible. It doesn't necessarily have to touch any of them, it doesn't have to start at any specific point, it just needs to be quite close to a lot of the points there. So I might actually just change that a little bit, and you would do this with a ruler, um, and so it might look a bit more like that, so that my line is not too far away from any of the points that are there. So, what are we? Why have we drawn this line of best fit? Well, this is going to help us to estimate what the maximum speed of a car would be, where the car takes zero to sixty, uh, where it takes sorry 11 seconds to go from 0 to 60 so we would find on our graph we would find 11 seconds so 11 seconds is here go from 11 seconds up to your line of best fit then from your line of best fit go across to the maximum speed and we can see there that a car that takes 11 seconds to go from 0 to 60 would probably be and that's why it says estimate it's not definitely going to be but it's likely to be around 120 miles per hour and so our answer here would be 120 miles per hour just taking that from the fact that if I go to the line and go across to the maximum speed it comes out at 120 okay let's take a look at a second example here we're given another scatter graph, this time it's about umbrellas and rainfall in centimetres. So first of all, in January of this year the rainfall was 6.1 centimetres. During January Mr Davies sold 33 umbrellas. Show this information on the scatter graph. So first of all I need to find where 6.1 is on my rainfall chart, on my rainfall axis. So my rainfall axis is 6.1 at this point here then I need to find where 33 will be so I need to go up 
to 33 there's 30 now be careful here I can see here that um, sometimes it, you may find that the numbers go up by more than one each time so for example if if 40 was say up here then it's going to take to go up by one umbrella it's going to take more so be careful when you read uh, be careful to read the scale basically so 6.1 find 33 30 is there so 31 32 33 so I'm going to plot my point there now it's really important that you're as accurate as you can be here so really be careful when you're reading the scale make sure that you've read the scale correctly and you've plotted your point in the right position okay part B part B says what type of correlation does this scatter graph show again let's see what the points we can see are going in an upwards direction if we are up we're positive and so we can say that this is a positive correlation then part C says to estimate the rainfall for February notice again um, uh, sorry it says to estimate the rainfall for February given that Mr Davis sold 39 umbrellas so again notice here it doesn't ask us to draw a line of best fit sometimes it will sometimes it won't it hasn't here but that makes no difference to us we're still going to draw one it helps us to make an estimate and answer that question there so let's draw a line of best fit so a line of best fit might look a bit like that am I happy with that um, not too bad I think I might move it over a little bit this way and that um, looks good obviously when you get your ruler out you can do that what I've just done there with my ruler sort of decide whereabouts it should go um, and try to get it as close to as many of the points as you can then the next thing that I then need to do is I need to use this line of best fit to make my estimation so I'm told that Mr Davis sold 39 umbrellas so I'm going to find where 39 umbrellas is on the number of umbrellas axes that's going to be there I'm going to draw a line across to my line of best fit and then I'm going to go down from my line of best fit and that gives me an answer of 7 centimetres of rain so what I could say is that the rainfall for February, given that Mr. Davis sold 13 umbre umbrellas in February, the rainfall would be 7 centimetres 